is Hannah. So remember what my closet looked like earlier? Ta -da! Check out the linen closet. And nothing on the floor. Except some kind of weird playing card thing. Now you want to see something really crazy? That's all the stuff I'm giving away. Yeah, I need to pack it up. But before I do that, we need to talk about today's challenge. So let's hustle downstairs and I'll tell you what day 25 challenge is going to be. Come with me. Hey, that rhymed. It's going to be. Come with me. All righty. So in a 30-day power purge for day 25, we're going to do all of our medical supplies. So what that means, all your band-aids, bandages, medicines, weird ear candle things if you're into that. Um, so let me show you how I organize mine. It has worked for me for years and it's the kids know how to use it. It's worked really well. So I dumped everything out one day and I just sorted it into four different piles. Um, and those are external meds, internal meds, natural medicine, and medical supplies. And this is, medical supplies are things like ace bandages, um, cold packs, um, <laughs> more ace bandages, <laughs> things like that. So um, this is what I want you to do for the day 25 challenge. Go through everything and check expiration dates. Very important because I guarantee you're going to find some medicines that you're like, whoa, that was three years ago. And also any of the prescriptions, make sure you check those um, very carefully because those usually expire sooner. And, you're gonna, and this has worked well for me. So this could work for you too. Um, just get four containers and sort them into these categories. And it's really easy to keep up with. The kids can access it. You can get to it when you need it. And also, when you're going through your medical supplies, take an inventory of the things that you need because you don't want to get caught without necessary things like, you know, like the antibiotic stuff or band-aids because I hate that when someone gets a cut and you can't find a band-aid anywhere in the house. Uh, but this way you can keep inventory, see what you need, see what you need to throw away, and it just works. So that's what we're going to do on day 25 challenge. Now for your extra credit and your bonus. I know there's, I've heard from a lot of moms, and this seems like a recurring theme. Oh, I've got some loose ends I need to tie up on this zone and loose ends from a couple days ago. You know what? This is the only challenge I'm going to give you today is go through your medical supplies because that is a very important thing. But for your challenge, I mean, <laughs> for your extra credit, I want you to go through and tie up all those loose ends from decluttering before. Maybe there was a couple of drawers that you never got to in the bathroom. Or maybe there was, um, you never got to those hanging clothes or your shoes in the closet. Whatever it is, go back and finish that. And if you want to push it further with your bonus, then make sure, tying along with the medical supplies, make sure you have batteries where you can reach them and um, functioning flashlights. So I want you to check and make sure you have one in each car and a couple of them in your house. And that's like my emergency preparedness thing. So that's what we're doing on the Day 25 Challenge. I'm so proud of you, Mama. Stick with it.